Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome into the accessibility overview for Stride. First off, I want to say thank you to Joyway for the game key so that I may play it and test it and give all my findings, all the results to you guys, whether it be through this overview or through the notes that are accessible on dutydoes.com, along with this video, actually. So with all that out of the way, let's get into it. You guys may have just seen me go past. You have smooth turning and snap turning. You and three levels of speed for each or sensitivity for each. And that's really good to go. Movement, you only have smooth movement. Just smooth movement in this game. And you're seeing me, you know, waving my arms to run. This bit, I want to talk about that really quick. I'm going pretty fast through this tutorial because I had already done it at least once. But this bit where it's having me fully rotate my wrist to see the objective. Um, if for you, that is also a problem. For me, I am very unable to fully do that with my right wrist in particular um the easiest way is uh remove the controller from your hand whether i be able to grip or not if you have those on your controller and simply just turn the con like use your other hand to fully turn the right controller because you cannot change what wrist you have to turn to see the objective it's on your right wrist and you can't like i said you can't change it so just take the controller in your left hand and rotate it that way um you only need to do it once for the tutorial and of course you're seeing me like bump my arms up or raise them up really quick you need to be able to do that and let go of the a button at the same time in order to jump you need to kind of wave your arms, I guess. That's what it looks like, at least when I'm doing it. Uh, to be able to run is, and hold forward on the left stick at the same time. No, you cannot change what stick does what. Left stick for movement, right stick for turning. And there is no way of changing that. You can also see you will have to climb this game is going to be a full upper body movement full upper body arm movement kind of game if you haven't figured it out from what i'm doing in the tutorials just yet it, it is a very demanding game for your upper body um at least when your arms are concerned a little bit later on there are sections um, such as crouching and things like that where dodging enemy fire that you will need to have the upper body movement to lean and to do all that stuff. And speaking of the crouching, specifically the crouching, um, there is a seated mode in this game. I, I would not be doing any I wouldn't be able to play it otherwise um, but there is a seated mode you hit the oculus button or the menu button to go into the pause menu you go into the settings and you go access seated mode and from that um, it will want you to put your left and right arm out to the side, kind of like a, how a little kid plays the airplane or whatever, and put them all the way out straight as they can go, and then press down on the left and right trigger. When you do that, the game detects your height, and then boom, you have seated mode, and then you take the little laser pointer and you hit apply and then boom and then to crouch you lean to the side 
lean your headset to the side and the game will automatically detect it as a crouch and then you're good so with all that being said if at all this helps you or somebody else that you may know that's awesome give them the link to this video if you know somebody that is wanting to get into VR or wanting to know more games that they can play in VR, then uh, give them the link top of the description, as always, uh, to dutydoes.com. That is the VR and non-VR accessibility website that I run. And all the games that I play and test, notes are always on there. You can access all the overviews as well. And yeah, it's just, it's there for you. I will see y'all later. Bye.